In this lesson, we will learn how to create and insert a flash animation into a web page. To create a flash animation, first we should decide where we are going to insert the animation in our web page. Say for example, if we wanted to insert an animation into this particular cell of this layout, first we must know the measurements of this cell. Now we found that the width of this cell is 100 pixel and the height is 250. Now let us go to flash and create an animation with these dimensions. Now let us take a new flash file to create the animation. Click on flash file action script 2.0 under create new item. So we created a new document. Now let us change the size of the document. Go to the properties panel and click on size. Here in the dimensions type 100 pixel width and 250 pixel height. Click OK. If you wanted to change the background color of the document, click on background color icon in the properties panel. Now import the different images that we wanted to animate on this background. To animate the images, we need to import them onto separate layers in the timeline. Now select the first frame in the layer 1 and go to file, go to import and click on import to stage and choose the image file that we wanted to import and click on open. In this way, we could open an image file into layer 1. Now take another layer. To do so, click on insert layer icon. Again, select the first frame of that layer and go to file, import, import to stage and choose the another image and click on open. Again to insert another image, click on insert layer and choose the first frame of that layer and go to file, import, import to stage and choose the file, click OK. So this way we could import three images into this document into three different layers. Now let us decide how many frames we wanted to keep in our animation. Say for example, I wanted to keep 60 frames in this animation. Now go to the 60th frame of the timeline, hold shift button and select the 60th frame of all the three layer timelines and press F6 on the keyboard to create the keyframe. So now we are going to animate one by one all the three images. So let us first animate the first image. To do so, hide the top two images and keep only the layer one image visible. Go to the first frame of the timeline. Right click on it and choose free transform. Now set the position and size of the image in the first frame of the animation. Now go to the last frame of the animation. And again set the size and position of the image in the last frame. Now click in between the timeline, right click and choose the option create motion tween. Now we can see the image is animating. 
Now choose any one frame between the first and last frames of the animation and press F6 again on the keyboard to create one more keyframe and now decide the size and position of the image in the middle of the animation. So it comes like this. Now I wanted to animate the other images also in the same pattern. So now hide the layer 1 and keep the layer 2 in visible mode and do the animation as we have done for the first image in the first layer. Now let us see how to save this file to insert in our web page. To insert in our web page, this animation should be saved in SWF format. To save this file, go to File menu, Export and click on Export Movie. Here, allot the file name. animation and save as type keep it flash movie that is dot SWF format and click on save now let us see how to insert this animation in our web page go to Dreamweaver and keep the mouse cursor in the cell in which we are going to insert the animation and go to common tab panel and choose media click on flash now select the image animation to file and click on ok in this way we could insert our animation file into the layout now let us preview it in the web browser Here is our flash animation. In this way, we can create flash animations to insert into the web pages.